is that we have a situation, you know, there were times where before it was okay right now with Saudi and women, they held them up on the tarmac for hours. And, you know, because of money stipulation and pay and the talent and everybody got scared. I mean, there's stuff that people don't even know from the back end. That would make me think, my God, why would we going to go there? But this is the Saudi and and his ego in Vince trying to make a deal and do these deals. And it's about money, 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 money. And they've got money. So I'm thinking now to get to the main point of my long story is that I feel that Vince knew from the from then years ago that he knew that he was going to position himself to sell WWE, that bringing this deal together was going to put the money and the, um, uh, how do you say, uh, bring the value up in WWE, having them as partners and them making their deals to do whatever they needed to do to make it look good so Vince could go ahead, um, uh, get it for sale, start positioning, um, knowing that he's got a lot of dirt in the background with all these problems, NDA, all this bullshit, and starting to get the roll on that, starting positioning himself with lawyers, starting to clean up messes before it even goes on sale. This is what happens. People just, you know, you just don't sell it and say it's done and over and all these things happen. It's a process. Mergers are process. I've been with comp- three companies that fucking merged. And it, it, this is what happens. It's like a five-year deal. So I think Saudi was a part of it to value that, to collect the money, you know, to bring it all together, to have part of this, you know, money coming in. I don't know. It's just my observation. And so when TKO, you know, took over, I think that Having this position is going to be interesting and what continues with it. Who knows how long? I think it's a 10-year deal that they did with Saudi. And this is how I see it. Why can't they take Saudi and make it their sister company of WWE over there? Why not have WrestleMania over there? That's their next step. Why can't it be the sister company capital over there and then start doing your WrestleManias in different countries? So that's my whole thought on that. Um, and how they perceive women and treat, who are we to tell other countries how to do it? We may not like it, but there's a lot of fucking people that hate us. Um, right. And so, you know, Fair they point. think of us loud, loud, boisterous, arrogant, fucking lethargic motherfuckers. So it just, it goes on and on with every country. And it's just, it's amazing. Um, I'm just glad that it's, it, that it's you know evolving um and um we'll see what happens <laughs>